Hi. In this short video presentation, I'm going to be talking about the cosine rule and how we use it to work with triangles where there is not a right angle. Now, we have already seen the sine rule and the area sine rule, and uh, these formulas over here um, are for when you want to find the side. You generally use this as the cosine rule. I'm not going to prove these to you. If anybody wants to know, see a detailed proof, I'd be happy to show you. Now we can actually change these formulas around to, to look like this. For instance, the cos of A is equal to B squared plus C squared minus A squared over 2BC. Or we can have the cos of B is equal to A squared plus C squared minus B squared over 2ac <coughs> or find the the cos of c is equal to a squared plus b squared minus c squared over 2ab that's changing the subject to the formula so that it reads cos of b or cos of a or cos of c equals now uh, we use these formulas over here when we want to find an angle the cosine rule works really well when we are given either two situations. Either we are given a side, a side, and the included angle, and we want to find the other side. Then we use the cosine rule. And as you can see, we can use this. So in this case over here, I would have, I would have C, small c, I would have small a, and I'd have angle b, and I want to find b, so I go to this formula, that one there, I want to find that, I've got that, I've got that, I've got that, I've got that, and I've got that, I can use that formula. So when you have the side, side, and the included angle, we use the cosine rule. We also use it when we, we also use it when we are given this situation, when we are given three sides. So we've got C, A, and B, and we want to find any angle. We can use this because you can see here the angle, the cos of the angle is equal to these three sides. So we've got B, C, A, B, C. So if you've been given all three sides, the cosine rule is a good bet to work on. So let's use it to apply it um, to a specific situation. I'll just pull this down a little bit like that so you can still see. Now in this one over here, I've got P, Q, and R. Now I would suggest that you straight away just change these, this P, you can change it to an A, B, C, because we're used to working with those. And then you rewrite, uh, you label your triangle according to those, so that would be C, this would be A, and this would be B. Notice you've got the you've got the side, the side, the included angle. We are actually asked to find C. So I go to my formula, the one to find the side. So I go to this one over here, and I see I've got this, and I use that formula. So it's going to be C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus two AB. Uh, the cos of C and one just substitutes it in. So it's going to be 6.7 squared plus 4.8 squared. Please don't you put in the units here, just write the numbers. Minus 2 times, put here in brackets, and B 4.8 times the A 6.7 times the cos of 38 degrees. Now, in doing the next step, do the whole thing on your calculator. And remember, this is equal to c squared. So you're going to have to, at the end, um, need to take the square root. But you can put the whole thing into your calculator and solve from there. So you're going to put your um, 6.7 squared plus your 4.8 squared minus your 2 times 4.8 times 6.7 times the cos of 38. Enter. And then you would, so that would equal C squared, whatever that is. And then you just push second, and then answer, um, square root. You take the square root of that, and you'll get your C value.
if anybody needs any help in working with their calculator, I'll be happy to show them. So that's using the one formula. I'm sure you can do that on your calculators. Now I'm going to bring up another example here. It says find the measure of all the angles. Now I'm just going to find one here. But let's say we wanted to use find C. We wanted to find that. So I'll use my formula the cos of C because we want to find that and that's equal to A squared plus B squared minus C squared over uh, 2AB and we would put those values in so remember to label your triangle always so that's going to be C this is B and this is A so you're going to get 11 squared plus 9 squared minus 14 squared all over 2 times uh, 11 times 9. Now, and that's equal to the cos of C. Now, in putting this into your calculator, again, you can put the whole thing in, but you're going to need to put brackets. You're going to need to put brackets around this part over here and brackets around this part, and you're going to need to divide it. And you'll get a value cos of C equals some value. And then you're going to push on your calculator inverse cos of the answer, and that will give you your angle. And uh, if you need help with finding that with your calculator, I'd be very happy to help you. So that's a cosine rule. Remember, the two situations, it's either if you've got the two sides, the included angle, it works, or if you have the, the three sides. If you're given all three sides, the cosine rule is a good one to use. Thank you very much.